Kravitz, you have a visitor in the main lobby. Dr. Kravitz. Dad. I'm fine, I'm fine. What happened? I was out on my usual run in the park when this kid on his bike, he swerved into me. Oh, gosh. Now I have to cancel my hiking trip. Hi. Are you Mr. Charles Lee's daughter? Yes, I'm Claire. Hi, I'm Dr. Hassan, the supervising physician. So, how's my father? Um, he's fractured his hip. However, we've managed to stabilize it. He's actually in very good physical shape, so the prognosis is good. Nevertheless, he will need physiotherapy to regain full mobility. Okay. I strongly suggest we keep him here for a few more days so we can give him the treatment he needs and monitor his progress. I'm not going to stay in this hospital. It's just for a bit, Dad. It'll be over before you know it. Not going to happen. I want to go home. Claire. Hi, Chester. How's your father doing? He's okay. The doctor said he'll need regular physiotherapy for a few months. And since he refuses to stay at the hospital, I'll have to take him there for it every day. It's going to be okay. Your dad's always been so active. I'm sure he'll recover in no time. Yeah, but knowing my father, it's going to be an uphill battle. He hates going to the hospital. If only there was a way for him to do his physio treatment at home. You know what? Um, I was at a medical tech convention the other day and I came across a really interesting startup. They're developing a product that provides physiotherapy remotely through video games. It's interesting. I would love to meet with them. Sure. Claire, why don't you um, go and look after your father? We'll follow up on the lead. They already do enough as it is. I can't let the two of them take over all the workload. Listen. I may not be in my 20s anymore, but I think I can handle a little bit of extra work. Hmm? Slowly. <coughs> great. <coughs> That's great. Okay, now one, one more step. I'm done. Come on, Daddy, you can do it. I said I am done. It's okay, we'll try again later. Okay. Let's see. Great, it's up. So, is this a system? Oh, uh, me, Chester, my boss. Yeah. Very good to meet you. And this is Raymond. He's the founder of a social enterprise called EFIT. All right, so um, how did the idea come about? <laughs> well, it all started a couple of years ago when my mother suffered from a mild stroke and needed long term physical treatment. But the cost was simply too much for us, not to mention all the time spent travelling to and from the rehab centre. Then, one day, while watching my nephew jump around playing a motion sensing video game, I realised the solution was right in front of me. And a few years of development later, this is the result. Right. Want to give it a go? Me? Yeah. <laughs> sure. So, the EFIT system delivers physical and cognitive trainings in the form of fun video games by utilizing a motion sensor. And when combined with the cloud, a single therapist can prescribe trainings to multiple patients and track their progress remotely, while the patients can receive these treatments anytime, anywhere. <laughs> I have to say, it's pretty fun as well. You can see how patients want to keep on using this even after they've completed their treatments. Exactly. While the system can be deployed in a medical environment, it is also designed to be a simple, cost-effective home solution for the elderly to stay in shape. And you also mentioned that you were trying to bring the system here. How's that going? Honestly, it's been quite difficult without the right connections. And if we don't get additional clients or support soon, we will have to cease operations. You know what? We can put you in touch with the DBS Foundation regarding a grant. And our colleagues can uh, put you in touch with some local hospitals. That'd be great. <laughs> All right, let's do this again. I'm going to beat that score. Okay. Come on, Come on. bring Let's it on. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, watch it, watch it. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Samantha. What do you think? I think it could make a great addition to our program here and as a matter of fact, it could greatly benefit any elderly person, patient or not. But we still need to 
get approval from our director and our deputy director. So let me set up a meeting and we can pitch it to them. Go! <laughs> What are you smiling about? I'm just happy you're into the therapy. You're just like your mother. Always having this internal dialogues going on. Too bad she can't see you now. You were such a quiet child. And your mother? She was always worried that you will not be able to speak up for yourself. By the way, I like your colleague, Hendra. You know he offered to get me the EFIT system and even set it up at my place. Did you make him do it? No. I just asked him nicely, <laughs> that's what. Oh, Dad. You know he likes you? That's not true. Of course it's true. Why else would a guy take off work and come and watch an old fart playing video games Huh? <laughs> and finally, the system is able to generate real-time reports, providing a complete picture of the patient's progress at all times. That sounds like a good idea in theory, but as I understand it, you are not a physiotherapist yourself. So how do we ascertain the efficacy of your system? Well, that's why we connected Raymond with Samantha to provide her with a detailed demonstration. Yes, I was able to test out the EFIT system and I must say I was genuinely impressed by how well it was able to deliver different treatment programs. I wholeheartedly endorse adopting the EFIT system here at our hospital. Alan, any thoughts? I don't think it's such a good idea. Why is that? The program we have in place was developed through years of consultation and feedback. Why should we throw something away that is tried and true for an untested system? Well, as Raymond said earlier, the system is not meant to replace your entire program. It's meant to complement whatever you already have in place. So why take the risk when what we are doing is working just fine? Yes, it's working just fine, but it can be better. Claire's father receives physiotherapy treatment here, and each time he comes here, he risks further injury. So if there's any way to improve the program, I think it's our responsibility to at least give it a chance. As deputy director of this hospital, it is my responsibility to safeguard the well-being of this institution. I'm sorry, but I can't let something that looks like a child's toy treat our patients. Alan, we've adopted new technology before, so what's different this time? Wait, are you on our side or are you on their side? It's not about taking sides. It's about doing what's right. Raymond? Oh, hi, Mr. Lee. Edwin B.S., huh? Your system really works. All you need to do is just show it to them. I did. No, no, no. Not in a boardroom. If you can show me evidence that this system will not disrupt our existing program, then I'll gladly withdraw my objection. To ask for data specific to your hospital without even a trial, frankly, that's unreasonable. Excuse me, Ms. Ong. Uh, you better come see this. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh. Okay, okay, grab the fruits. Everyone, uh, okay, come on, come on, get, get. that's mine, that's mine. Get the fruit! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Everybody, please return to your therapy. We are doing therapy. Can you please turn it back on? I'm sorry, but this is an unauthorized therapy. Fine. Then I'll take my treatment somewhere else. Who else will go with me? Me. Yeah, come on. Mr. Fernandez. Do you remember what you said earlier, that as deputy director, your responsibility is to safeguard this hospital? Yes. And I suggest you do your job and you let me do mine. It's true, we are in different fields. However, we do share a common purpose, and that is to serve those that come to us and to be a force for the greater good. It's the difference between worrying about how change is going to impact you and finding ways to impact the world to make it a better place. So if this institution means something to you, 
then I urge you to reverse your decision. Samantha, I want you to start a six-month trial of the eFit system here at our hospital. I will expect a detailed report and analysis by the end of the trial. Of course. The trial begins now. Alan, plug it back in. Seeing all the happy faces in the room that day reminds me how aging is an often overlooked part of the circle of life. Having a healthy older generation play a more active role in society will only benefit us all. So if a better tomorrow is what we're striving for, then we must recognize that the key to our future also lies in our past. Hey, you really don't have to go and solve the system for my dad, you know? He can be pushy sometimes. <laughs> it's no trouble at all. Thanks for being there for me. Claire Wade. I've been thinking about what you said at the hospital and about what I wanted to do with my life. And in all the scenarios I could think of, I, I couldn't find one, not a single one, without you in it. Some people say, however long a relationship lasted is how long it takes to let go. And I don't know if that's true. All I do know is that I'm not there yet. But I'll keep trying. Okay. Let me know when you have turned a page. And I'll be there when you are.